Hey YouTube, it's Taki with Taki Tech. So today we're going to start our second project. It's a complex timesheet. It's extremely complex actually. It's one of my legacy projects. It's something I've been working on uh, since the beginning of 2016. It's just a little bit, maybe a few days more than two years old. And basically the initial project works well. Um, it just takes the time in and time out. And then if there's a lunch time, it subtracts that from the lunch time. And then it takes a look at these task codes that I've hard coded inside of the code itself. And it gives it, it gives it, it estimates or it doesn't calculate the time according to the task code. Then it spits out the total time here. Um, so one of the problems, one of the complexities when a user tries to use it is what if they need to change the percentage of a task code? So we were running into problems with that. The other thing was, what if somebody needs more than one break during the day? What if they leave because of a doctor's appointment? So you also had that complexity. So they had to leave for a doctor's appointment and then come back and take a lunch again. So maybe you would need more than two breaks during the day, so to speak. The other complexity was, what if I need to take task code the, the task that is or the task that is under the task code 40 and do it at 10 o'clock how can I put it up here where it needs to be and then move all the rest of these down here and still calculate the time correctly so in July of last year I started doing a major refactoring of the project actually it was more than a refactoring it was a rewrite um, let's take a look the original code is all procedural meaning that it's one line after another telling it what to do. There's a lot of uh, duplicity of the code here. It's basically code doing the same things. I was unplugging things in and out. This shows you where I've moved in the last two years, especially because I, I've, I've studied a lot of object-oriented programming in the meantime. As you can see now, there's a lot of modules in this project. Going back here to the, the project uh, properties box and just taking a look at all of the different modules. Um, some of those are going to stay, some of those are going to be good. The last crack I had at rewriting this was back in October. Um, and I think I got it to the point where, I can't remember, there was some aspect of the project that I needed to work on. I, could, I can't remember where it got stuck. I remember at one point I had it completely working without the breaks, without the multiple breaks during the day and without the task times. It was just completely dynamic. The task codes were just completely dynamic. So I had that part of it working, but then I added this complexity on it with the breaks where we had more than one break. Then I added the ability to add a start time to a task to kind of push all the rest of those tasks down. And this added on to the complexity of the project. So this time we're going to finish it straight out. So that's going, I'm going to bring this episode to a close. If you like this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy.